Are you coming to Bonaire to shore dive? Do you plan on diving Angel City? Do you want some tips, tricks, and other information that'll make your experience easier and more enjoyable? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. And we're doing it right now. Hey folks, we're down here at Angel City on the southern end of Bonaire, and this is my absolute favorite dive site on Bonaire. So I'm super excited and psyched to bring you the video about the dive site here and some fun tips and tricks about it. So really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is part of the Double Reef System. It's the third mark site on the southern road, so it's right after the Hilma Hooker. But let's tell you about it. But first, if you're new to our channel, my wife Liz and I, we love to travel, especially to sunny tropical locations where we can scuba dive. We've got a particular passion for the island of Bonaire and the freedom the shore diving here allows. This is another in our series of videos about the different shore dive sites here on Bonaire. In these videos, we tell you all about the site. Best place to enter the water, best place to exit the water. We'll tell you about the lay of the land outside of the water, give you some navigational tips, and a lot of other fun information. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd love to have you join our community, so please subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell too, so you'll be made aware of when we have new content for you to enjoy. But hey, right now it's all about Angel City, and once again, I could not be more excited. If you've seen our other videos, we've already done Liz's uh, favorite dive sites. So if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you watch them on Vista Blue and Salt Pier. But phenomenal dive site once again part of the double reef system which i absolutely love if you've watched our videos you know i absolutely adore white sand amongst coral pretty coral dark coral doesn't matter the fish i love the contrast it's great for video it's great for photography you're going to get all of that here at angel city um, i think there are really three to four ways to dive this site and there's one particular way i love to dive it so similar to the dive site the lake you can dive the outer reef you can dive the inner reef you could dive this down to the Hilma Hooker. So if you want to dive the Hilma Hooker, I absolutely recommend that you either dive it from Angel City or you dive it from the lake. So north from Angel City or south from the lake, there's nothing like seeing that big hulk of a wreck come into your view out of nowhere. It's just an, it's an experience that's unreal. You really, really need to dive that wreck from one of these other dive sites. It's easy to do, it's a short swim, and you'll enjoy it. But the best way to dive Angel City, in my opinion, is to dive south where uh, the depth is going to decrease and you're going to come to an area where the reefs come together with coral bridges and coral islands some big mountainous star coral formations it's great to swim around those over them it's great for photography you never know what you're going to find when you're there there's a resident maury eel i've caught several times even caught him out for her for all i know out swimming uh, amongst the coral it's a great phenomenal sight um, you've got to come dive it You've got all your particular uh, suspects of marine life. The shallows are great. Liz, I know you, you like it too, so what do you see here that you like? I really, I like the double reef system. I like looking at the sand in between. Um, we've seen several times lizard fish, which kind of rest on the bottom. They're kind of funky looking fish. They're fun to watch. They're pretty chill. Um, I also like the big schools of fish. There are a lot of fish um, that sometimes that we see of these small fish that just are kind of swirling around up towards the surface and it's it's really cool to see those um, and I just like all the different coral. It's a good mix of, of north and south with the hard coral and the soft coral. Um, so I think it's a really great site. It really is and once again I might not be the, the best uh, marine life species expert but you're going to see a lot of marine life here. You're going to love it. Turtles, typically uh, you find turtles here in the shallows. Um, once again, I mentioned eels earlier and even saw a seahorse here once. Can't promise you that, but you've got to spend some time in the shallows looking under all those bushes, um, looking throughout the soft coral. So make sure you save some time for the shallows. And I could ramble on all day about Angel City, but instead, hopefully you're going to come dive the site. Let's give you an overview of the land part of Angel City. So let's take a look at the above water part of Angel City. Once again, great dive site here on the southern end. Plenty of parking area. You will notice, especially after a lot of rain, uh, this area can be wet and muddy, so you might not want to park over there. Stick to the left side as you enter the parking area. 
but plenty of parking up close to shore. You can see our truck is parked right there. It's a great place to back directly up to the shore, but it can be at an angle. So keep that in mind when you're parking your vehicle. It may make sense to back it straight in, it may make sense to park it a little bit uh, horizontal to shore like we have done here. One thing to keep in mind when parking your vehicle is these rock piles. So if you back up, don't get too close to them. What you're going to find is you go to put the tailgate down and you're not going to have anywhere to stand to put your gear on. So just keep in mind, don't back too far up. You're going to end up having to maneuver your truck and hopefully you won't find out that too late. Access to this dive site is very simple. Now, actually getting in is a different story, but access to the beach, just walk through here on the sandy beach area. And it is kind of nice to have that sandy beach to look at the entry and decide where you want to get in. Now, as I mentioned, this is my favorite dive site. It is not my favorite entry. It's really a pick your poison type entry. Um, they're all equally as perilous as far as places where you can slip, places where you can fall. You'll see that it's your typical uh, Bonaire shoreline here, especially for this area of the lake, Helma Hooker, Angel City in this area. You've got this ridge area covered in the algae type stuff, whatever that is. And you've got a step down and it's a pretty good little step, probably about a foot, depending on where you are going up the coast. But that is there. What I found are two main places to enter depending on my mood. One is right here directly from the walk-in where we came from the parking lot. You've got this area here that's more of a substrate glide down, I will call it, or slope down onto some more uneven ground and then some rocks after. So not much of a ledge to contend with here, although hopefully you can see these little peaks and valleys that you've got to maneuver around. And there's some very serious holes in here. So be careful. See, I just slipped just walking here. Of course, I'm wearing flip-flops. But once you're in, you've got varying levels of ground. You've got holes that'll twist your ankles that you can fall on. You've got rocks. So this is one place I recommend to enter. And we'll go take a look at another down here. The other is down here. You see this brain coral? A little bit just barely north of where we just were. Come down to this area. You've got some areas where you can walk in, step down onto some sand, and then you've got a little bit deeper ridge to step off of. And then you've got more ankle twisting holes and rocks, and you can walk out there. Take note of this Elkhorn coral and these other coral formations. You'll need to navigate past and then put your fins on to do the swim out. Um, you absolutely can do this entry, but just be aware I would either get in here or the one we talked about earlier. What I would not recommend for your entry, and in particular for your exit, is anywhere south of here. So take a look at that mooring buoy, look back at shore. You don't want to be south of that. Hopefully you can see through the camera that substrate area goes further out. So you have to walk further out or further in where you're not floating. And it's just more, more, more of uneven ground, more places to fall. Uh, if you fall here, don't be embarrassed. It happens. Um, don't let that deter you from diving this site, but it is a little more sure-footedness you have to navigate here. But once you're in, we dive straight out to the buoy, or we don't dive, we surface swim to the buoy, the mooring buoy. We descend, and I'll tell you, this is a great site that's super easy to navigate. Let's give you a couple of tidbits there. One, the mooring buoy is in a place that's perfect for you to use for navigation for your way back. So once you're there, take a compass heading back to the entrance before you descend. Then what I recommend, um, we typically go over to the second reef or we end at the second reef. But on that second reef at the bottom in about 60 feet of water, it's not very deep, is a big brain coral half dome looking thing that's very big that's sitting in the sand by itself up next to the second reef. What's also nice about that is if you go to that piece of coral, look back at the inner reef, you'll see that there are some smaller coral reef islands 
dotting the sand channel back to the inner reef. And so it's super easy. And if you do that, then explore the islands at the bottom of the inner reef. When you come back up the inner reef, you'll be right there, super close to the mooring, and you can navigate on back into the shallows. So uh, awesome, awesome, easy navigational markers for this dive site. So hopefully that was helpful. Now guys, I know if you've been watching our other videos, and hopefully you have, uh, we usually have Liz demonstrate how to enter each dive site. We're not gonna do that this time. Um, we had some snafus on this trip. This was our last dive of the trip. The short story is the brakes gave out on our rental vehicle and we had to trade that out. We also had some camera equipment issues, so we just did not have time to have Liz do the entry and exit. So I apologize for that. Hopefully these tips have been helpful though and you can see uh, where you need to enter and you can have a nice successful dive. You really should dive this site. Well, hey folks, that's just about going to do it here for us at Angel City. What did you think? Did you enjoy the video? If so, how about giving us a thumbs up? Let us know in the comments what you thought or what was most helpful about the video. We'd really, really appreciate that. But right now, we're going to gear up. We're going to get in. And we'll see you at the next site.